Thank you to About the Memories Travel for sponsoring this video. We'll share more about them later. Hey, and welcome to new vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sarah, and the other half of adult in Disney is Jeff. And right now we are at Disney's Port Orleans Riverside. In this resort review, we will share everything about this resort. We'll show you the pool. We'll show you the dining locations. And of course, we will also give you a room tour. We can't wait to share it all with you, and it's time for an adventure. Disney World's Port Orleans Riverside is themed after the Louisiana Bayou. When you enter the resort, you'll come into this space and in the distance there is where you go for check-in. So here's the reception area. When we checked in, there was plenty of cast members and it went very quickly. This resort is a moderate level resort, which means it's gonna be in the middle price point of the different Disney World hotels. For our stay, it was about $270 a night, but the price is gonna vary greatly depending on the day of week that you're visiting, as well as the time of year. It also can vary depending on if you have any discounts, such as an annual pass holder discount or not. For the rooms, one important thing to know is that there's two different themings to the hotel rooms when it comes to the outside building areas. One of them is going to be the alligator bayou area, so that's what you have here. In this area, you're going to have a lot of like trees and it really tries to pull in that bayou feel. Uh, and then here's just a closer look at some of these bayou buildings. And when you have your hotel room, uh, we just booked a standard room and then you kind of just get assigned either the bayou uh, or for our case, we were assigned Magnolia Terrace. If you have a preference for one area versus the other, you can always check with a cast member uh, when you check in. With Magnolia Terrace, this is going to be themed after the mansion, so you have the white column mansions. And with our room, as I mentioned, we just had a standard room that was booked here at this resort. And even with the standard room, you do have some really great theming and the room has plenty of space. When you walk in, you're going to have the two beds there as well as the TV on the wall. And below the TV, we have a dresser as well as a mini fridge, which I will show you more of in a, in a little bit. And then along this wall, there is a space where you can hang um, some clothing items if you'd like. And then the bathroom space is separated with a curtain. The curtain is an amazing detail, which we'll show you more of here in just a second. In this bathroom space though, you have the double sink, which we really appreciate uh, for getting ready in the morning. And then you have the door that separates the toilet and the shower and tub area. And with the shower and tub area and the whole room, everything in here is really nice and very well maintained. So it's going to be a perfect room for us for the night. And then lastly, before I get into some of those details in the room, here is just one last overview of kind of the full bedroom space. Here is a look at the curtain that separates the bedroom space from the bathroom and I love it. It is so beautiful and I love the Tiana detail on it. And then when it comes to amenities, you have the H2O products that will be provided for you to use during your stay. There is a safe uh, here if you want to use it to store anything during your stay. And then back here, there's plenty of space to hang items if you'd like. They provide an extra pillow and blanket if you'd like to use those. And then there is an iron and a full ironing board. One other thing that's really important for us is being able to store our bags out of the way. There is plenty of space under the beds if you want to store your bags there. And then there is a coffee maker that is provided. So you have the little Cuisinart maker. And then they do also provide some Joffrey's coffees as well as some tea. Directly below the TV and the coffee maker is the mini fridge, so if you want to keep anything cold or bring back any food at any point, you do have that available as well. And then getting to some of those details, I love the princess and frog touches, so that little frog on the curtain was so cute. And then we really like the art, you have the ferry boat, but then you'll also notice if you look closely the castle in the distance. And this might be my favorite one where there, you have your stuff that you can hang. There are some hidden Mickeys on the side, which is just such a fun detail there. We also had our towel, which was a Mickey theme. And then the art on the headboards of the beds are also really nice. If you're wanting to do laundry at all during your stay, there is a area here at the resort where you can do that. And there's a variety of different washers and dryers for you to use. They also have vending machines there in the corner where you can purchase detergent uh, if you didn't bring any with you. For the washers and dryers, it's going to cost $3.25 per load, um, but it is a really nice thing to have here at the resort. 
Old Man Island is an island in the middle of the resort and it is inspired by Tom Sawyer. It's about three acres or just over, so there's a lot of really fun spaces here, but probably the most notable one is going to be the pool or the main pool area, I should say. And with Old Man Island, uh, you do have this little sign here, which gives some of the backstory. So I love the theming with that. And here is just going to be an overview of the pool. So the pool is open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. And there are a bunch of seats. So if you're looking for some seats in the sun or seats in the shade, there's a variety that you can choose from. The pool itself is pretty big, so it's a good sized pool to swim around. And then they do also have a water slide for anyone that is interested in that. In addition to the pool area, there also is a very large hot tub spa area that you can go in and relax. And then probably one of the things that Jeff and I like most is you have the pool area right here. So here's just kind of another look at it from the side with all of the tables and then a closer look at the water slide there on the left. But if I keep turning, uh, then right next to the pool is Muddy River. And this is going to be a bar. So you can come up here and you can grab drinks. Uh, they also have some food items. So it's really convenient to have this right here as well. Also throughout the island, you will find hammocks if you want to relax in a hammock, read a book. Those are also nice touches to have here. And if you have a little one that is wanting to go on the playground, you have Old Man Island's playground and there are some slides and different areas where the little ones can climb around. Right next to the playground is also going to be where the campfires will take place. So they're held nightly from six to seven. You can go over and cast members will provide marshmallows if you want to roast a marshmallow. There are also pools outside of the main pool area. So here's an example of one of the pools that was located over by our room. Before we get back to more fun, I just wanted to take a moment to quickly talk about our sponsor for this video. About the Memories Travel is an amazing travel agency and they have a bunch of specialists who can help you plan your next vacation. We have personally used them for our Disney trips and they can help answer any questions that you have and also keep eyes out for great deals. The best part is that they are going to have all of their services available at no cost to you. So you can contact them with all of your questions and they're to help for no additional cost. If you'd like to contact them for planning on your next trip, please click the link below in our bio. All right, now it's time to head back to the fun. Back in the building where you first enter the resort, you will find the majority of the food options as well as a really fun bar. The bar is called River Roost and it's right here on the left when you're in this main area. It will serve uh, cocktails in the afternoon and evenings, and then also on the weekends, it will offer some breakfast options. Here is a look at the bar. So there's plenty of bar seatings if you want to pop in and have a drink. In addition to the bar seating, there's also some tables. One of the most popular things that will take place in here is on select nights. You will have Yeehaw Bob, and Yeehaw Bob is an amazing and really fun performer that comes up here. He'll play the piano and sing and get the crowd really involved. So if you're staying at this resort at a night that he's performing, we highly recommend stopping by. In addition to the bar area, there also are some couches here to the side if you want more of a relaxed atmosphere. And then going towards more of the food and drink options, down this hallway you have the rivers, which we just showed you there on the left. And a little further down the hall hallway is Boat Rides Dining Hall. And Boat Rides is going to be the sit down dining option here at this resort. And at Boat Rides, it's going to have different entrees such as the Taste of the Bayou, which has ribs and Cajun chicken. It also has a seafood boil, so if you prefer seafood, that's available. And then they also do have a jambalaya in here. And this just gives you an idea of the theming in this whole area. The quick service option here is the Riverside Mill food court. So there's a variety of different windows where you can go up uh, based on what you want to order. And they serve everything from breakfast to lunch to dinner. So if you're looking for a grab and go meal, this will be your option here. And they have a variety of different things to choose from. And of course, they'll also have some Louisiana uh, inspired dishes. We grabbed the jambalaya here from the quick service and it was a pretty good sized portion. And we actually really enjoyed it a lot. 
And then just for an idea of what the seating looks in here, so you can, again, take your food to go if you want to bring it back to the room, but they do also have plenty of tables in here as well. When it comes to getting around Disney World, if you're looking to make your way over to Disney Springs, there are boats that are provided that will take you down there, and the boat ride is actually really nice, so if you're looking for a relaxing way to get down to Disney Springs, we definitely would recommend it. You can pick up the boats just outside of the main building, which will have all of the food as well as the check-in. The downside about this moderate resort is that if you're looking to go to any of the theme parks, then you will be taking a bus. So there is a bus stop that you can uh, pick up one of the Disney buses that will take you to any of the different Disney theme parks or water parks. If you're looking for things to do at this resort, besides the pool that I showed you earlier, one unique thing that they have here are the carriage rides, and these carriage rides can start right outside of the boat rides dining hall, and the carriage rides are an additional cost, so it's going to cost $55. You can pre-book them, or you can also check about same-day availability. Another uh, fun thing to do here is you could rent a bike. So you could rent these bikes and take a ride around the resort. There's a uh, path that goes quite a ways, so it's a pretty nice bike ride. These also will be an additional cost. And then they do also have other things such as fishing and a running trail. So the fishing is an additional cost. The running trail, of course, you can just go and use. And one thing that is really nice here is that you have that running trail that's gonna go there on the left. So you can see a couple guests that are walking. And in the distance, you don't just have Port Orleans Riverside, but in the distance, you'll have Port Orleans French Quarter. So the two are connected. So here's just an overview of it. This is uh, Port Orleans Riverside, where we're at currently. But you can take a running path and then, or walk and walk over to Port Orleans French Quarter, which is right there. So that's a really nice perk and a nice thing to have at this resort. In addition, there are uh, different activities that will take place throughout uh, the week. And one thing that we really enjoy are the movies that they do. Lastly, there is a really large arcade if anyone wants to go and play some games and maybe get a break with some AC if you're here in the summer. The arcade is open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. To play any of the arcade games, it is going to be an additional cost, but they do have these little uh, recharge stations so you can get a card and load some money on it. And then there is a bunch of different games that you can kind of go around and play. There's also a uh, little type of rides if you have little ones that are looking to do some. So again, it's really nice to have this arcade here as an option. The last thing I want to share is the Disney store. This is also going to be located in that main building where the check-in and all of the food is located. And the store in here is really nice. So it has a lot of different merchandise and I do also like the theming in here where you have Donald and Huey, Dewey, and Louie. So I appreciate that they carry some fun theming in this. They have a bunch of Disney merchandise. So if you're looking for any specific Disney, uh, Walt Disney World items, mugs, shirts, uh, snacks, those are all in here, but the thing I want to spend a little bit of time showing is some of the resort-specific merchandise. We were really impressed with all of the resort merchandise that they had in here, so it was a variety of different items that had Port Orleans Riverside on it, which we really appreciated. I really enjoyed this water bottle, which has kind of the wood pattern to it. And then in addition to the uh, Port Orleans-specific items there, they do also have some mugs and they have a hat as well. So again, a really big variety of different items that you could choose from. And then if you are a fan of Princess and the Frog or of Tiana, they do also have a bunch of merchandise in here that ties to kind of her story and the bayou and food. So I really liked seeing all of this merchandise in here as well. I want to share our overall thoughts about staying at this resort. It is a really nice resort with a lot of really good details, both throughout the resort and in the room. This is again going to be a moderate priced resort, which means it's the middle price point for here at Walt Disney World. Uh, and we really enjoyed that you also have the boat option if you want it to go to Disney Springs. The downside is that you will need to take a bus to all the other theme parks. But overall, if you're considering this resort, we would definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for following along with us, and we can't wait to bring you on our next adventure.